Hello, you are welcome to Remedia One platform for learning. This platform is specially designed to help students who are going to write WASI exams this year. Today, we are going to have a discussion on an important topic under integrated science practicals. And that topic is poetry production. We are going to solve a likely examinable question. So those who are going to write WASI, Pay attention and make sure that you watch and follow the answers. There is a question that I want us to discuss. The figure below illustrates a housing unit for keeping chicks. Study it carefully and use it to answer the questions that follow. So this is the figure. It's a nice diagram. Now let's look at the questions that follow. I identify the housing unit above. So this is the housing unit. So we are supposed to identify that housing unit. Name the parts labeled I. This is I. I I. This is I I. I I I. This is I I I. I V. So this is I V. And then finally, yeah. That, so it, uh, it's up to I V. So we are supposed to label this part I, 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 and then I, G. Question C. What is the interpretation of the following behaviors of chicks in the housing unit above? I. Chicks cluster closer to the part labeled I, I, I. I, I. Chicks move away from I, I, I and spread out with their mouths open. Then let's look at the next question. Question D. State two ways of reducing mortality among the chicks in the unit above. Question C. What is the meaning of the following terms as applied in poultry production? So the first one is culling, culling. Then the second one, caponization, caponization. So that's the question. Now let's look at the solution. So the first question was to identify the housing unit. And the right answer is brooder house. So the housing unit is a brooder house. Brother house. B. You are supposed to name the part labeled I. And the part labeled I is water trough, or we can say water, or drinker. Water trough, water, or drinker. Then the part labeled I I is feeding trough, or you can say feeder. Feeder. Or feeding trough. The part labeled I I I is hover, hover. Then the part labeled I G is litter material, litter material, or you can say straw material, straw or litter material. Question C: What is the interpretation of the following behaviors of chicks in the housing unit? I: Chicks cluster closer to the part labeled I, I, I. So whenever the chicks cluster or they move to that part labeled I, 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 the meaning is that the temperature in that brooder house is too low or the chicks feel cold. They feel cold or the temperature is too low. I, I. Chicks move away from I, 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 and spread out with their mouths open. It means temperature in the brooder house is too high for them. So in that case, chicks feel hot. So you can say chicks feel hot or temperature is too high for them. Then let's go to question D. State two ways 
of reducing mortality among the chicks in the above unit. I protect floor from extreme cold. So if you want to prevent mortality or death, mortality is deemed as death. So if you want to protect mortality among the chicks, then protect the floor from extreme cold. Protect the floor from extreme cold. Next one, wash drinkers, or you can say wash waters, and replace the leftover water regularly. You wash the drinkers, and then you also replace the leftover water regularly. Next one is that you serve water before feed. So don't serve feed before water, but rather serve water so that the chicks will drink water before they feed. Then, strictly follow medication and vaccination schedules. You strictly follow medication and vaccination schedules. Then, you maintain proper hygiene and sanitation in the brooder house. Maintain proper hygiene and sanitation in the brooder house. In fact, there are several other measures that you can use to protect chicks from mortality or from death. Now let's go to question E. Question E says, what is the meaning of the following terms as applied in poultry production? The first one is culling. Culling. Culling is the act of separating sick or unproductive beds from the rest of the beds or from the rest of the flock. So, if you have any sick or, unproduct uh, or unproductive bed, you separate it. And that act of separating these sick or unproductive beds is what we call culling in poultry production. I.I. Caponization. It is the act of removing the testes of a male fowl or cock. That is the act of sterilizing the male cock so that it becomes sexually inactive. So that process is called caponization. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure that you watch and then you share. Thank you. My name is Samuel Enchi.